Yo guys, it's me, X, the biggest Ubineko fan ever. I've read all of Ubineko. I am such a big fan. Oh, this is so my sister is here with me. You're Say hi. Reading anything. Hello. I'm forcing her to read Ubineko. Let's go. <laughs> you dudes. Are you dunce? I'm assuming she's a human. I mean, like, even if you're a witch, you're still a human. I'm not expecting her to be some supernatural creature. Offer the six chosen by the key as sacrifices. On the fourth toilet, gouge the head <laughs> and kill. What? The chest and kill. Dude, how is this? What is <laughs> this? Does Maria laugh? Her laugh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is so I like how funny? You paused it and then the can do anything with magic, even kill. <laughs> <laughs> off her head. Your face is gonna get stuck like that. I think it is. <laughs> Beatrice is dead. I'm gonna confirm it. Is she? Because they're gonna revive her. The only way you can revive someone is if they're dead. Girl, I'll give you a drop. <laughs> what? Are you gonna piss on her? <laughs> That's not what I was- She's so annoying! You look for it yourself, you little brat! Miss ma'am, if it's here, show me where it is! Oh. God. This is the most base scene in all of books. I. This is the best like... mom ever. <laughs> I feel like something. I've. I've. Is the mom gonna backhand her? Please tell me she does that. I'm dead because the mom just keeps saying, stop saying this. And then the little girl's just like, where's my rose? Whoa! Amen. Ooh. Thank God. Woo! Why she's the best mom? Best mom, best mom goes to Rose. Rio was shocked into silence. Thank God. Oh no! She's gonna yell even louder. <laughs> nah, this is the end of the video. Damn, Rio's killing my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Rap battle. <laughs> Rap battle, let's go. <laughs> Wait, can you like insert? I had no Insert way. The beat. <laughs> <laughs> like I, uh, I'm speechless, bro. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> A little awkward. Everybody's watching this. Like the standing, the three standing. <laughs> She's about to get more than a slap on the cheek. That's she all I'm gonna to say. <laughs> the first kill. <laughs> Mom's already got her hand out. <laughs> She's ready to go, man. They just need to leave. Where'd Maria go? She's, She's gone. gone. She like yeeted off the stomach. Still on the ground crying. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the three of them watching the fiasco in front of them saying like, we shouldn't butt in. Like, get out already. Why are they still there? They're like, we should leave. In a few minutes. <laughs> They're just staring at us. They really said, Maria, we're leaving. As her mom was whipping her. <laughs> Don't Google anything, Ubi Neko. You try to Google who took a shit on the first floor, <laughs> and it says the killers of chapter one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, for real? Why would I do that? Just don't, bro. <laughs> who shits on the floor? Somebody shits on the floor, Ubi Neko. <laughs> Please tell me you're kidding. Why did you say that? That was so specific. I'm. We're literally laughing about who knows what, and this is so sad. Uh oh. Fuck. Dude, that scared me. I thought someone was gonna show, pop out. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad, honestly. It just looks weird. Are you kidding? Yeah, look, look, look. No, the Higurashi sent me into a spiral. <laughs> Bro. Like, I thought, I thought I was playing a knockoff. She forgot she had a kid or something. <laughs> Beatrice. Oh, dude! Wait. Stop. I'm scared. Bro, if my kid was telling me a witch gave her, I would have left on the next boat. Like, I'm not staying here. Why did she think her. The Bro, she is literally dying. <laughs> like, she has a headache every five seconds. How is she gonna go outside? We all gotta get on a boat now. <laughs> Nah, I'm, uh, I'm out the door. I'm not even here. 
Where are you going? There's like rain outside. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm swimming if I have to. I'm out. Ma'am, you don't gotta thank nobody. Just let it go. Someone got in a cosplay and gave her the umbrella. Is that what they're trying to say? What would they gain for pretending to be Beatrice? Mm -hmm. And then Maria knows what Beatrice looks like. You're right. Because if that's the case, the closest person that looks like Beatrice is Eva. But they were all in the room. They got alibi. But so then... I feel like if I just think that there's a 19th person, it's too easy. What about the music? It sounds like we're about to play a mini game. Their lives are literally, they're becoming homeless soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke anymore. <laughs> like, they were like cracking it. The music sounds like this is just some clown shit. They're just monkeys dancing in a circle around their eldest brother. Bro, it's so easy to just be like, there's somebody living on the island. There's a whole tribe living on that island. There could be a whole ass family living on that island. Who out here cross-dressing is my question. Because I don't see Natsu you doing it for sure. Eva, no, she's too stuck up. Rosa was asleep. It's canon. Like, he's the one that brought up, should we tell Master that it's happening? He seems pretty eager to eager and like positive that it's happened mm. and then he's the one that mentioned it like maria found it um, in that and then he's the one that was the only one that ran outside you're right but and he had an umbrella who's to say right. he didn't have a second one and just went ahead and gave it waited a little bit and then went you're right like ken is the only one that doesn't have an alibi a legit one. He could have just been standing out there for a while. Or they could just have been pretending that the spirit of Beatrice was possessing him. It could be anyone still. It doesn't need to be a woman. Anyone can put a wig on. They're gonna leave and then wake up and then there's gonna be... I'm just saying, there's gonna be less people from 18. Are they not a little bit concerned? I feel like if someone were to say that, I'd just take it seriously from the get-go. Like, oh, well, we don't got time to doubt anything right now. Oh god, I don't know why that scared me. I thought she was screaming. It's his dress. It's the dress. Oh my god! I thought she was gonna get killed right there. He probably, like, remembered the sacrifice part and was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this shit right now. All right, don't need to wait. Let's get this done. <laughs> All right, no one got a kill. I did not see this coming. I was expecting like a whole ass cosplay. Is the witch real is what I'm. Why was he? Wait, no, <sighs> never mind. I have too many questions. You can you can do this after y'all are not dead. We check her out. <laughs> no, I'm locking her up in the storage room. But if she's the one with the key, she gets to choose who disappears. Why would she? Maybe she didn't understand what that meant.